statement of financial position. The statement of financial position is a statement that shows the financial position or condition of an entity by listing the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity as at specific date. So sa balance sheet or sa statement of financial position, makikita natin dito yung financial position or, con or financial condition ng isang entity. Makikita natin dito kung gaano kadaming assets meron ang entity, gaano kadaming liabilities, kadam gaano kadaming liabilities meron ang entity or gaano kadami ang kanyang pagkakautang. And makikita rin natin yung owner's equity as at specific date sa statement of financial position. Makikita rin natin doon kung gaano kalaki ang portion or interest ng may-ari or owner sa business. Doon natin siya makikita sa statement of financial position. The information needed for this statement are the net balances at the end of the period. This statement is also called the balance sheet. So other term ng statement of financial position is balance sheet. The balance sheet can be presented in either the report format or the account format. The report format simply lists the assets followed by the liabilities then by owner's equity in vertical sequence. Ganito yung itsura ng balance sheet na presented through report format. So ito, so sabi pag report format, yung assets, liabilities, and owner's equity ay nakalist into vertical sequence. So ganito, nakalist yung assets Liabilities and Owner's Equity in Vertical Sequence. The account format naman lists the assets on the left and the liabilities and owner's equity on the right. So kanina, pag report format, meaning naka-vertical sequence lang yung assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Kapag account format naman, so parang T-account siya wherein T-account wherein yung assets is nasa left, which is normal balance ng assets ay debit, then yung liabilities and owner's equity ay nasa right. So meaning normal balance ng liabilities and owner's equity ay credit. So para siyang account, para siyang single na T account. So ganito yung itsura ng balance sheet naman kapag ang ginamit na format ay account format. Para siyang T account wherein yung assets is nasa left which is yung debit, normal balance ng asset is debit. And yung liabilities and owner's equity, so nasa right side naman siya, naka-itemized. Which is ang normal balance normally ng liabilities and owner's equity accounts ay credit. So siya ay nasa right. Debit sa left, credit sa right. Assets sa left, liabilities and owner's equity sa right. Then yung total assets must be equal sa total liabilities and owner's equity. Okay, last time. Income statement. Then after natin gamuha ng income statement, nagawa tayo ng statement of changes in equity. Ngayon naman, gagawin natin yung statement of financial position dito sa worksheet ni Wedding R. So dito natin kukunin sa worksheet yung mga data na kailangan natin para sa paggawa ng financial statements. So meron natin itong portion ng balance sheet. Then ito yung mga information nakukunin natin sa paggawa ng balance sheet. Sa so, paggawa ng balance sheet, syempre huwag natin kakalimutan yung heading. We have the wedding R as yung pangalan ng entity. Then yung, yung financial statements, which is yung ginagawa natin ngayon, yung balance sheet. Then, yung specific date. May 31, 2019. Ibig sabihin, ang balance sheet na ginagawa natin ay as of May 31, 2019. Then, ilista natin yung lahat ng assets ni Wedding RS. Ang assets can be a na, can be a current or pwede ring non-current. So mauuna yung current assets. Okay, yung mga current assets nito, we have cash. 
cash at what amount? Ang amount ng cash ay 22,200 pesos. We have 22,200 pesos. Sunod, accounts receivable. Ang amount ng accounts receivable ay 17,300 pesos. Sunod, supplies. Ang supplies ay 15,000 pesos. Sunod, prepaid rent. Prepaid rent is asset account then, which is current assets na 4,000 pesos. Then yung sunod, prepaid insurance. Current asset na 13,200 pesos. Yung sunod, service vehicle. Ang service vehicle is hindi part ng current assets. So, nagawa na natin yung total current assets or yung composition ng current assets ni Wedding RS. Kukumpitin na natin yung total current assets ni Wedding RS. Total current assets ay 22,200 plus 17,300 plus 15 plus 4 plus 13,200 equal sa 71,700 pesos. So, ito yung total current assets ni Wedding R Us. Then, yung mga figure then is galing sa worksheet. Yung service vehicle is hindi natin sinama sa current assets kasi siya ay doon sa portion ng non-current assets. Okay, sunod yung portion ng non Current assets. Una, service vehicle na at what amount? 420,000 pesos. Less, accumulated depreciation service vehicle. So kapag ang mga accounts ay PPE, or property plan and equipment like service vehicle, lagi silang magkatabi ng kanyang corresponding na accumulated depreciation sa presentation ng balance sheet. Accumulated depreciation service vehicle ay 4,000 pesos. Net book value ng service vehicle is 420 minus 4 equals 416,000. Next, office equipment. Office equipment na 60,000 pesos. Less yung kanyang corresponding na accumulated depreciation office equipment na 1,000 pesos. Netbook value ng office equipment is 59,000 pesos. Ang mga accumulated depreciation account is pinepresent siya sa balance sheet pero contra asset account. Meaning, nasa asset account siya pero credit ang kanyang normal balance. Kaya contra asset. Total ng current assets ni Wedding RSI 416 plus 59,000 equals 475 thousand pesos. Non-current assets is 475. We have current assets sa taas na 71,700. Total assets ay 71.7 plus 475 equals 546,700 pesos. Total assets is 546,700 ni Wedding RS. Ganyang kadami ang kanyang total assets. Ang mga asset accounts sa balance sheet is 
pinepresent siya according sa order ng liquidity. So, syempre, mas liquid ang current assets kaysa sa non-current assets. Kaya nauuna ang current assets sa presentation ng balance sheet. Ano ba yung liquidity na term? Ang liquidity na term, ibig sabihin, is yun yung gaano katagal mako-convert ang asset into cash. Meaning, mas madali ma-convert ang current assets into cash kaysa sa non-current assets. Kaya sa presentation ng current assets is laging nauuna ang cash. Kasi, cash na yan. Na-convert na siya into cash. Sunod lagi ang accounts receivable kasi madali ito ma-convert into cash by just collection lang sa customer yung AR magiging cash. Sunod yung supplies. So, si Wedding R as ay service company. Meaning, kapag nag-render siya ng service, kinakailangan niya mag-consume ng supplies. Minsan, yung service niya, magiging, mag-consume siya ng supplies na magiging accounts receivable kapag sinigil niya na sa customer. Then, magiging cash kapag nakolekta. Prepaid na, prepaid insurance, and so on. So, ganon yung presentation ng, ng assets sa balance sheet. Nakapresent siya in order of assets liquidity. Sunod naman yung portion ng liabilities and owner's equity. Sa liability, syempre mauuna muna yung presentation ng current liabilities. Okay, current liabilities, una, notes payable. At what amount? 210,000 pesos. Sunod, Ang sunod ay accounts payable. Ito, accounts payable. Accounts payable amounting 53,000 pesos. Sunod, we have salaries payable. At what amount? Ang salaries payable ay 1,800 pesos. Sunod, utilities payable. At what amount? 1,400 pesos. Sunod ay interest. Interest payable. We have interest payable na 3,500 pesos. Sunod, unearned referral revenue. Ang unearned referral revenue, kahit may revenue account yan, yan ay liability account. Kasi ibig sabihin lang lan, lan, yan yung mga portion ng Advanced na payment from customer pero yung service is hindi pa nare-render ni Wedding RS. Kung baga nagbayad lang yung customer kay Wedding RS pero si Wedding RS is hindi pa nakakapag-provide ng service for that collection ng pera. May utang na service si Wedding RS dun sa mga nagbayad na cash. Ang amount ng unearned refill revenue ay 6,000 pesos. Next, Capital accounts na. So, ibig sabihin, ito lang yung composition ng liabilities ni Wedding R Us. Wala siyang non-current liability and lahat ng kanyang liabilities ay current liabilities. Ibig sabihin, yung total current liabilities is yan na rin yung total liabilities ni Wedding R as 210 plus 53 plus 1.8 plus 1.4 plus 3.5 plus 6,000 total current liabilities ay 275,700 pesos. Kanina sa presentation ng assets is naka-arrange ang assets sa balance sheet in order of their liquidity. Meaning kung gaano ka katagal mako-convert ang asset into Cash. Kapag liabilities naman, ang sorting naman ng account is, syempre mauuna yung current sa liability, 
bago yung non-current liabilities. And ang sorting ng current liabilities, meaning yung mga account or yung mga liability account na unang babayaran. Yung mga magjuju na liability, siya yung mauuna sa presentation ng liabilities. Meaning, ibig sabihin dito sa balance sheet na to, ibig sabihin na ang notes payable is un mauunang babayaran kaysa sa accounts payable base sa kanyang due date ng pagkakautang. Ganon yung pagkakasort ng mga accounts or pagkakapresent ng mga accounts sa liability section ng balance sheet. Susunod naman natin yung owner's equity portion ng balance sheet. Ang owner's equity portion is yung capital ni Gevera. We have Gevera Capital. Ang balance sheet natin ay nakadate ng May 31, 2019. Meaning yung capital account dito must be May 31, 2019 din. And yung capital na, na ilalagay dito is manggagaling dun sa ginawa nating statement of changes in equity last time. So dito, 271,000 yung capital ni Guevara as of May 31, 2019. Then yan yung ilalagay natin dito. Guevara Capital as of May 31 is 271,000 pesos which is galing sa statement of changes in equity. Therefore, may capital account na, may liability account na, may total capital na, may total liabilities na nen. Therefore, total total liabilities and owner's equity ay 275,700 plus 271 equals 546,700 pesos. Total assets must be equal sa total liabilities plus owner's equity. Basic accounting model. So, nagawa na natin yung balance sheet ni Wedding R. Us. So, ito yung kabuuan ng balance sheet ni Wedding R. Us. Total assets is 546,700 total liabilities or yung total ng utang ni Gev ni Wedding RS is 275,700 and yung capital naman ni Gevera sa business is 271,000 pesos meaning may implication na ang total assets na 546,700 is yung 275 doon is interest or portion ng mga ng mga creditors ni Wedding R Us and yung natirang 271,000 na naman is yung interest ng may-ari which is si Guevara sa kanyang business na Wedding R Us.